Son of a bitch. What's wrong number one? The sun. I hate the fucking sun. What? Why? What did the sun ever do to you? Besides turning your old beloved world into a wasteland. Don't this any harder than it needs to be. Whatever. I have nothing against the sun so I don't see why anyone else would. We need it to stay alive anyway. Who cares? The sun is a bitch. It melted my amazing Goku snowman. So that's why you're upset. You should have realized the snow wouldn't last forever. Obviously the degree in temperature of these days would melt a snowball the size of your mom in seconds. Tra -la 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 -la. Shut the fuck up. I told you already my mom wasn't fat. Whatever. If all you're going to do today is bitch about the sun then I'm just gonna go watch some My Little Pony. I'm not bitching. And you're not going to watch your gay show yet? The show isn't over yet? We aren't going to have time to do what we scheduled for if you keep talking about the sun. That's the point dumbass. What? Do you get it yet? Today's episode is over my hate for the sun. What? That's the most ridiculous you've said all week. Why should I wasted my valuable time listening to you whine and bitch about something you will never be able to do anything about? It's not ridiculous. We're YouTubers. People do rants on YouTube all the time. Really? I need to start making solo rant videos myself then. What could you possibly rant about without sounding gay? A lot of things. For instance, why you're so stupid and why I even bother working on this show for you. Watch it Joe Mama. Whatever. Just get your stupid rant out of the way so I can go watch my shows. Fine. Bitch. Listen up viewers. I'm about to tell you the true reason why the sun really is such a bitch. This should be interesting. The sun is a bitch because... It helped Superman beat Goku in Screw Attack's Death Battle series. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Hear me out Joe Mama. There's a reason this is so important. Oh my god. You're only saying this because you're a stupid DBZ fanboy? Wrong. What? Absolutely wrong as usual Joe Mama. I may know everything there is to know about Goku, but I also have the complete history knowledge of every variation of Superman from his beginning to the year 2013. If that's the case then you should have already known that Superman should have easily won. It seems you're the one that doesn't know much about Superman Joe Mama. Oh please. What's not to know? Everyone in the world knows who Superman is and what powers he has. Not true. There are many variations of Superman. Most are very alike, but some stronger or weaker than others. Some even have other powers than the Superman you most likely know. Oh really? Like what? Pre-Crisis Superman could read minds, shapeshift, sneeze and destroy a solar system, carry a whole solar system on a giant steel chain with one hand effortlessly, and a ton more. LOL. What the actual fuck? Superman is nowhere near that strong. He actually was in the pre-crisis times. Of course he was weakened in power by a overwhelming ton in post-crisis times. Wait. So this is just one of the powerful Superman versions? Then which was the actual strongest? Even I don't know anymore. I stopped watching after Superman the moment I seen the end of that death battle video. I was so pissed. You still haven't explained why you were mad. If Superman can do this, then obviously Goo wouldn't win. I already know that. Even a Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta wouldn't stand a freaking chance. So just say it already. Fine. Screw Attack confirmed themselves that they had a planned version of each character for the battle. Of course you can't really choice a specific Goku, so he got all his powers. The only exception was future Goku at the end of Dragon Ball GT of course. So which Superman was it supposed to be? They tried to decide between Pre-Crisis and All-Star Superman. They later decided to go with the All-Star version. Never heard of that one. He is pretty much like the one you know, only much stronger, faster, and smarter when it comes to battle. Overall, he makes the Superman you know look like a bitch. Whatever. 
If he was just an enhanced version of the one I know, then why did Gu lose? He should have won no problem. This is where the sun comes in. About fucking time. I thought this was gonna turn into a Superman vs. Gu Ran. Oh god no. Those are the worst things on the internet. Seriously. Okay. So there are a lot of Superman versions that can get stronger just by getting closer to the sun. One version of him even stayed inside of the sun for 15,000 years and came out with godlike abilities. Holy shit. You're telling me. Anyway All-Star Superman is one that gets a boost from the sun. Even so, he was much too powerful during the actual battle. He could keep up with Goku as a Super Saiyan 4 without being next to the sun even. What the fuck? I know. The animation was cool to look at, but everyone knows they didn't do proper research on Superman. It's like they gave him a mix amount of power from all of the most famous versions of himself. That's pretty cheap. If Goku only gets one version, then so should Superman. That's what I've been trying to say. Either way, the end of the fight was both accurate and stupid at the same time. Really? What happened? Superman blew up the Earth. What the fuck? He's supposed to be the one saving it. Did he turn evil? Nope. Just blew it up. LOL. This doesn't make sense. What happened? Goku uses Kaioken for the first time ever as a Super Saiyan for him blast Superman into the sun thinking it would kill him. That was the worst mistake Goku could ever make fighting him. Oh shit. So Superman turned into his godlike form and destroyed everything? Not exactly. Superman waited and healed in the sun gaining power. Goku formed a spirit bomb, then absorbed it, then used that energy to do another first time move. The spirit bomb absorbed Kamehameha wave. Holy shit. If Superman survived that attack then no one should be able to beat him. How the fuck does Lex Luthor get away with everything? Who cares? Lex and the Joker will always be the best comic book villains. Anyway. Superman was only in the sun for 5 minutes. When Goku shoots the wave, Superman charges right through it easily. Still, that doesn't stop Goku as he does yet again, another first time move. Turning into a Super Saiyan 4 while still in the spirit bomb absorbed Kamehameha wave he does a spirit bomb absorbed Super Dragon Fist. Holy shit. 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 Calm down Joe Mama. It's not over yet. There's more. How? How could Superman possibly survive that? The sun truly gives him that much strength. It has been proven, Superman doesn't have a set strength. He is only as strong as he needs to be. My god. That power. Nothing except God should have that power. True, but in the comics even God can't stand up to these guys. Impossible. God is infinite. He auto wins at everything. He could even beat you in a cheese bread eating contest. Now that would be a challenge that I'd gladly accept. Now to finish the fight. Right. So how did Superman live and destroy the planet? He punched. What? He simply punched. But... But how? You don't know what a punch is. Are you stupid or stupid? Take your hand, make a fist, and hit something with it. Dur -dur -dur. Shut up. I know what a punch is. I'm just speechless. A simple punch stopped that almighty combo attack from Goo. Yes. And the force itself made Earth explode. That is the scariest most stupidest ending to a Superman fight I've ever heard of. My thoughts exactly. Either way, what an incredible story. So you were mad because Goku pushed Superman into the sun on accident? Exactly. Poor stupid Goku. Poor stupid Goo. Poor stupid Goku.